Hello everyone and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video. I caught wind of a new Twisted Fate Gangplank deck, but instead of coupling it with Noxus, it's combined with Bandle City. Broken Ball and Sparkling Ice Tea from the EU scene shared this deck with me, and I'm very happy to bring it to my audience as well. Super fun deck, very strong right now in the metagame, and yeah, nothing more to say. Let's jump into it. Ooh, Lulu Poppy. All right, so the idea with Lulu Poppy is we're simply going to try to control the board, keep them from snowballing. Uh, group shot's going to be fantastic. We've got crack shot and Mirai. Um, we can probably keep this curve. Uh, group shot very likely to maybe connect with Fleet Feather Tracker or something in this match if it's set up for Tenor of Terror on four. The name of the game for us is just all chip damage. I'll shoot the wings off a all chip damage all the time. I think I could just open attack here and get two. I like Mirai Warden. They, they miss turn one and then turn two, we have a wide board to still take advantage of Crackshot Corsair. If they whiff on turn two, then we just get a really fat swing here. Six damage. And it would be incredibly unlucky for this deck to not have a one drop and a two drop. We could see maybe Pokey Stick at the very least. Yep. Yeah, so I am glad that we attacked there. It's important that um, if we had just open attack, maybe they get away with just playing a two drop because they're not under enough pressure. But by playing it out in that specific way, we get uh, we get them to spend their mana on a removal spell rather than, you know, developing onto the board. So I'm thinking of Dreadway Deckhand. Lulu pulls the barrel. We can maybe just go for a group shot to deal some damage to Lulu. Um, and then we have a nice swing back into her. We haven't met the requirement for Tenor of Terror yet. If you've played a created card. Hmm. Maybe we just go for Deckhand. It's probably correct actually to play Inventive Chemist first. Oh my god, they didn't drag the barrel. That's huge. They didn't drag the barrel. Ah, they have Rangers Resolve. Okay. 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 I should have blocked just in case, I guess. Um. Yeah, nice, nice attack here. You can maybe hold back the Crack Shot Corsair, but we know they want to get this value trade on the 2-2. So, one of the fun things and skillful things I've, I've noticed about this deck is attacking with Crack Shot Corsair. When you know that your opponent really doesn't have the tempo to block it. So a lot of, look at this, a lot of spells, a lot of defense coming out of my opponent, but no, uh, no board being developed, which is absolutely massive. This is the first time after all the games I've played with this deck that, um, Tenor of Terror is actually, uh, bricking for me. We could go for red card. They played Ranger's Resolve. They played a uh, Sharp Sight last time. Um, I like the red card here. We're going to try to keep pressuring this Lulu. And then by dealing one damage to each of these, it sets up better trades for us. And Buster Shot's totally fine. As long as they don't get like a crazy curve into Lulu and Poppy and rally on us at the end of the day, it's just uh, really strong. Do I... No, it's not a good trade. We can trade like this and just full clear board. It's just that my Tenor of Terror is not active, so I, I feel really bad about giving up my board like this. We have a lot of strong top decks, though, so I think that we should be fine, like a Gangplank or something. Yeah, if Tenor of Terror was active, I'd feel a lot better. I'm just going to double up here onto the uh, Fleet Feather Tracker. To finally meet the requirement for Tenor of Terror. The idea here is to attack so they block with Lulu. And this lets us kill Lulu with Pokey Stick. Or make it rain if we top deck it. If they just open attack with free damage, then we're fine. But by developing, we get this. A lot of damage coming through still. Mm. 
So, Lulu survives with, uh, they have second Ranger's Resolve, they survive with Sharp Sight. So we're gonna throw the 3-2 at that. Rallying with a 4-4 isn't even that big a deal. Wow. That's very desperate on their part. Do they want to kill the barrel? No, they don't. Do I take four damage? Yes, we do take four damage here. Oh my. Do we take four more damage here? I think the answer is yes, we take four more damage. Um... Gangplank is leveled up, so it, so playing the Gangplank here is better than Tenor of Terror. If Gangplank wasn't leveled up yet, I would have gone Tenor of Terror for a much wider board. That was an insane rally. I think that they were really hoping I would trade my board away. But yeah, that's actually the first time that Tenor of Terror has ever bricked on me like that. Very unlikely that you don't get Groot, uh, you know, Pokey Stick and stuff. Ooh, Trundle Scion. New brews coming out of Platinum here. Let's go. Rai Warden, Misfortune. Group Shot might be able to hit something like an Avros and Sentry. I'm going to mulligan the Tenor of Terror. Trundle is going to be pretty hard for us to punch through, I think, because of the regeneration. But... Generally speaking, Freljord Noxus can't really run a lot of healing. They can reach for maybe Kindly Tavern Keeper, and that's about it. Blighted Ravine could be in this list, but alongside Scion, I think this might be a Yeti build. I've never tried this chemical before. And if it's Yetis, as long as we don't get like crazy high rolled, then we're actually in a really good spot because we're in Bandle City. We have a lot of chump blockers. And we could just block for days and go for burn. You can see the Devastian border from here. I wonder if that deck runs Avalanche. I could definitely see Ice Shard. No prey. Play Misfortune here. We only have one Misfortune in the deck. It's like an experiment to, instead of running a full set of Twisted Fates, only run two Twisted Fates and just have the one Misfortune in there. For those of you who follow the stream and the channel will remember that that is my, one of my signature texts from playing TF Gangplank uh, Bilgewater Noxus a while ago. And for situations like this, Misfortune is just godlike. Thought you smell something. So we could see Troll Chant. So the Troll Scavenger maybe does indicate Yeti still because of the Abomination. Look out for I think I am supposed to attack with just with a uh, Misfortune here. If I do, they trade the Scavenger into it. It feels kind of bad. But it's just all about that chip damage, right? And theoretically is if we don't put Misfortune in danger, my opponent is under lots of pressure to remove her before she levels up. So we'll see what they do. Because we're going at a pretty steady clip here. They're out there. Another Sentry. I'll just play out the Lecturing Yordle. We don't get to cast the Poison Dart this round, but we just get a big boy in play, and we can just kind of start attacking willy-nilly. Our open attack is very strong into them. Because this is 1 HP now, and this is 1 HP, so Misfortune cleans it. Next round, we're going to have a ton of mana available. So we start with the open attack. Hold back the Misfortune. Again, keeping the pressure on them to remove this Misfortune. Um, and we play around Troll Chant. By uh, taking attack from Misfortune, giving HP to the Scavenger to trade up. Yep, so they're looking to just block as much damage as possible, but we've got so much chip coming through. We've got Poison Dart that can target the Nexus, by the way. Deal one to anything. I mean, really, I was going to say I'm really expecting some removal to come down. 
So, uh, rest in peace to Misfortune. Um, I kind of like Tenor of Terror here. Second Avalanche would be kind of bad. I could go for Red card. Might be better to save Twisted Fate for Gold card. I'll play Tenor of Terror. Very interesting deck. I'm not, I'm still not really sure what they're up to. Uh, when I played this deck earlier on stream, I ran into tons and tons and tons of Bandle Tree, and the matchup felt magnificent for me. Uh, sure. I think there might be a troll chant. Nope. And, yeah, we can just throw it on the Gangplank then. No Trundle? Really unfortunate. Ballista. We've got group shot, which we can uh, use to take out the ballista. Such a strong interaction. And our open attack is just nonsense. And we put all of these ahead. Gangplank levels up no matter what, actually, because of misfortune. Wild. Misfortune actually popping off here. Maybe we move to two Misfortune and only one Twisted Fate. We just played even more like Pirate Aggro. But having the having the gold card for Twisted Fate is such a good like emergency measure against Scion or a big elusive sometimes. Yo, they're running Decisive Maneuver. Okay. So I could just go for double up here. Which kills the Avros and Sentry, puts them at one, and then Poison Dart finishes. Oh my god, what a deck. Even with all of the chump blocks that they were playing to box us out this game, like the, the consistent chip damage is just too much for them to handle it. Against anything slower, I think that deck does kind of pop off a little bit, potentially with the Lost Souls. But I always appreciate when players are trying something new. That's why I'm the captain. 